welcome to my video on how to open any scratch 1.x or 0.x modifications or builds and you don't need to do this for any version of scratch modifications or the builds with along with its whole files in a zip which contains uh, executable and many other files included if it has if it has it included already you don't have to continue this tutorial and directly download it without doing anything and in case you only have the image file to download then you can just continue watching this tutorial so let's just go without further ado so first let's just go to the downloads directory of scratch and click here you have to go to scratch.mit.edu slash downloads which i will leave in below in the description of course and as you can see we only got scratch 3.0 here so let's just scroll down click on scratch 1.4 here and we're going to be downloading a whole version of scratch 1.4 here you can just choose your version you have like linux windows or mac os and download it once you download it means for example i'll just download and show you but i'm not going to be completely downloading it because my internet in internet has some speed speed issues that's why i don't download these things live usually and you can just click download by clicking here which we of course know and you can just download it like that and the second step that you need to do is to download the image you want image means the dot image file the squeak virtual machine file for that i'm going to be going to scratch archive.nelixu.com but you can go to any other website you want like any other scratch modification website or anything else if you have one and you can see that I have downloaded this scratch application file here already and you can just choose any version from here and download but of course if you know any other website for the modifications or something you can just download it from there and if you don't know any sites for scratch 1.4 or 1.x modifications of course I am there who will help you help you help you guys to figure out what was there in 1.x era and it's very interesting as well so you can I have downloaded this image file and ha have it and also this executable file you have both of these things you can just click on the scratch 1.4 installer and okay I'll just give it on there let me just close my chrome because it just slows down my processing so that the recording will become laggy and let me give next and then I'll choose a directory if you want you can choose it otherwise you can just leave it but for my simplicity I'm just choosing my downloads folder itself giving ok then next and let me just do not create a shortcut because I don't want anything coming in my start menu if you wanted it you can just keep it there it's your own wish and of course you don't need this image files I mean this picture files you can delete all the pictures like pictures and several other things which I'll say later once we install this thing Let's give next and just uncheck these things and then give finish and once you've done that the second thing the, the fourth step you have to do is to take this image file and throw them into the scratch folder and here we got this scratch folder like this if you want you can delete all these all these things over here they are just optional files these four folders because they just contain some sample files folders and files you can still keep it but it's not loadable in my version means the 0.1 version which i downloaded already and then of course you can just click on the scratch executable like nothing has happened and just open it like that this is just my scratch 0.1 version as you can see and of course you can watch my close tutorial closing tutorial if you wanted to and uh, to learn how to close this scratch versions more easily i will just use my task manager to end it if you don't know properly and one more optional thing you can do is to delete this file from the folder of course it supports multiple file in folder but if you keep only one file you can directly open it without the perm without asking the permission actually without asking the permission you don't understand means like if you simply click on the executable it's enough you will get the open scratch of course you cannot close this 
because there's another virtual machine made for these things but it's compatible with this as well means this executable that's why it's working of course you don't understand what I'm saying but it's okay I think you, you should have understood my st steps I told if you don't understand of course don't worry there are many other videos out there explaining about these things 